Look at this. It's a lathe. <laughs> uh, well, we're at the Atlas right now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this operation here, but I gotta start somewhere on this video, right? Uh, I'm getting ready to make the shaft. That goes into the generator head. I got delayed on it for the last couple weeks, and here's why. I'm just bolting this thing back together today. Don't know how much I want to get done, because this weekend is a very important weekend. Uh, my grandpa turned 101. I don't know if I'm going to machine anything for this shaft this weekend or not. Like I said, Grandpa's 101st birthday, and I don't know how much time I'm going to have because we're going to take him out to eat and do a bunch of stuff like that. So I think that's a good excuse for not working on it this weekend, right? So I guess I better say uh, we'll see you all next week because who knows if I'll be working on this or not. This line here on the crankshaft is very, very close to where the end of the generator is. So for now I want to consider that being the point where the bearing will set. The bearing will probably start from here and come down. And then I'll have a shaft hanging below that. Let's see. Probably go ahead and put it that way. Yeah, I have to put it that way. So there's about four and a half to the start of the bearing. I'm going to need a couple inches. Let's call it three. I don't know, four and a half. Let's make it nine inches. That should give me plenty of room to do what I need to do for everything. Um, regarding the bearings for the generator head here, I've decided to go with ball bearing in it. I spent an amazing amount of time researching bearings. Um, to make up my mind if I wanted to go with a ball bearing or taper bearing. And I finally decided I'm going to go with ball bearing. 
um, a one inch ball bearing can handle 300 pounds uh, axially. So I think that's more than enough for this. I mean, this little generator head doesn't weigh that much. But my deciding factor was grease because I could not find a sealed uh, taper bearing. And I just don't want the grease coming out of there and having to grease it all the time. Whereas this, I should put it in and leave it. So that was my deciding factor on that more than anything was just grease. So I'm gonna put the shaft in here and I have a lot of stick out to face it and center drill it. Or do I wanna stick it over in the Rockford to face it and center drill it? I think I wanna do it over in the Rockford because it'll go through the spindle that way. Makes it a lot easier. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, this is inch and an eighth shaft, and I'm using a one inch bearing. So that way I can turn everything down if I want. My goal though is to actually make a shoulder that this bearing will go up against. And maybe make some shims or something if I don't get it right so I can get the right pressure on it. We'll see. Oh man, I got my center in this chuck too. Oh well, I guess we'll let it stick out a ways. Got some shear action going, I can tell by the shavings. Respectable finish, though. A little tit there in the middle, though, for some reason. All right. Let's see if I can dig out that tit just a little bit. Okay. I have it center drilled, both ends, ready to go. Um, and my wife really wants to go roast marshmallows over a campfire tonight. So I guess I'll shut down and hopefully work on this in the morning. Marshmallows with us. You like the marshmallows? I set my piece up here between centers. Um... And then I realized that I'm doing it wrong because I need to set the crankshaft up between centers so I can put an indicator on the taper here and get that set up right. So I'll change things around here real quick. Well, this is taking longer than I'd hoped for, but according to my view, we're at one thousandths right there. And if you notice when I crank it, it bobs up and down, so obviously the finish is not great. And right before I come off there, we're at one thousandths. That's almost ready to fall off the end of the shaft. So, I think that's it. We're going to go with it, I guess. Call out our taper. This is not going to be fun right here. Dang it. I don't want to do that. <laughs> That's going to be a very good way to get my finger beat up in a hurry. Oh, golly. 
I just flipped the compound around and realigned it according to the grease down here, which is a little bit out of frame. And boy, did I get close. That's 20 right there. And 18 right there. I that might even be off the shaft. There we go. Yeah, it's still 18. So within two thousands, just using the degrees, just using the degrees on the compound. That's not bad. That's a good starting point. So I'll fiddle with it a little bit more here. Alrighty, we ready to try this out? <sighs> Let's see. Actually, I gotta have this set. I need my bit to cut the other way, don't I? Because I should be pushing into the chuck instead of pulling back like that. Oh, do I really care? <laughs> Let's go with it, set up that way, see how it feels. But yeah, I really should be pushing that way with my compound. Set my cross slide to zero. That worked. We'll go ten more. It's working pretty nice. Right, I'll go 10 more and check my finish. Eh. It's a decent finish. Oh, I could do better. I think I'll kick her up a gear here. Why not, right? Faster is better. Oh, that's a much better finish. Yep, higher speeds work much better. Wow. All right. That's some nice steel. That's all there is to that. All right, well, I got a ways to go, so uh, I think I'll do a little more off camera here because a little bit of a size difference there. Can't really tell through the camera that that's different size, but that's... Uh, Use a measuring tool to tell you a different size. That might be a genius idea. Alright here. So just a guesstimate here, we're at 0 0.987. 0 0.987 on the shaft I'm making and oh yeah. There's a difference in size. I come down to a point eh, somewhere around point six six eight six six nine somewhere in there I'll have to come down to so I got uh, about three hundred thousand to take off I guess so yeah I'll be here a while so I'll bring you back when I get really close.
It's interesting to note how much your speeds and feeds change your chips. Out there on the bigger stuff where it's spinning faster, like in these little tiny curly ones. And by the time we get down to the smaller shaft where it's spinning slower, it's a lot bigger chip. As a matter of fact, a lot of it, when we got really small, was just breaking up into these little pieces. So, always fascinating. I think I might be really, really close. Really, really, really close. It's 681. And this one was 678, right? Oops. I get on the end. Yeah. 678. So I'm within three thousandths there. So I'm going to let that cool down. Um, matter of fact, we're going to end the episode here today. Um, I've got to get off and do some other things. I'm really hoping one of these days I can get an entire day to work on this wood chipper and really gain a lot of ground on it. But for right now, it's just going to be a little bit here and there. Um, you know, I'm uh, still really busy with everything in my business side and the farm side, but it's starting to taper down a lot, both of them. So, yeah, one of these days I think I'll be able to catch an entire day. But that's fun. I actually enjoyed setting up for this taper doing this. Uh, what I'm planning on doing next with this piece, doesn't mean it's what's going to happen next week on the next episode, is uh, I'm going to skim it back this way once we get this taper right so I can put my steady rest in here. That way I can drill and um, tap this end for the thread. And actually, I'm going to do a little bit more than that because I'm going to change my chuck, too, because I can't hold that in the steady rest with just a center like that, can I? That's all right. I, need, I wanted to do it between centers so I could pull this thing out and test it in the generator and see if I'm close. And then we'll switch over to the chuck and start doing that. But I'll put the chuck on after I skim this down. That way I have a good reference point. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Um... I really wish I could work on it a little bit longer, but like I said, i got to go up to other things, and that's life, right? So thanks for watching, y'all, and hopefully I'll see you next week.